Hello, oh, oh, I'm the flashy J.W. Evans. I'm a lover, I'm a fighter, I'm a scrawny lunatic. But more importantly, I am a fan of U.S. politics. The latter part being relevant because today's topic is... Which of the U.S. political parties, the top two, is the dumb one? You have your liberals and you have your conservatives, always duking it out. So, which of the two is just a big pile of jelly-headed idiots? The answer is... Both of them! That's right. While there's well-read and intelligent individuals on every single dot in the political spectrum, there's this big pot a stupid stew, and both main parties have large portions of them guzzling it down. Okay? If you look at liberals, which I tend to lean a bit more liberal on issues, so it's only fitting I sling shit at the people I agree with more often, an issue with liberals is that there's this portion of them that have a huge problem with being SJWs. You have these people, these radical leftists on the spectrum, that are obsessed with interpreting every single thing possible as offensive and call anybody who disagrees with them racist bigots. So overboard to the point where there's some of these SJWs that have actually called people racist for having dreadlocks. I have a brother, he has, he's a white dude with dreadlocks, okay? It's a hairstyle, he likes it. And there's some of these people that have called him a racist because he has a haircut. Because he's stealing culture. That's the point where liberals get a shit ton of fucking stupid stew in their head. Okay? It's, these people usually have this victim complex that everything's against them, they're being oppressed, and they're usually never the people who are being discriminated against either. These are usually people who are like, straight white Catholics, and they're you, or etc, etc, and usually they're flipping out about issues that don't relate to them, which, you, it's fine, it's fine to care about things that don't affect you, but they just walk around like they're in a haunted house and the ghost in every single little atom of your little tiny world is some offensive thing and everyone who's not agreeing with you on everything is this gross bigot racist. No, that's not how it works. That's stupid. Another group of stupid people who fall under the category of liberal is radical feminists. Now, feminism, feminism, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, you know, it helps a lot, you know. Equality is important. Fighting for women's rights is important. There's huge issues with gender roles all over the world and in the US. It's good to fight for those things. Feminism is important and by no means a bad thing. The uh, problem is, is that while feminism is typically a good thing, the people who call themselves feminists there's a group of ones who take the idealisms and make them radical. And a huge problem is, is that these radical feminists have made it to the point where some people even hate the word feminism. These radical feminism, feminists, even though they may not be the majority, are the loudest. And instead of fighting for equality and fighting gender issues, they're fighting against males in general, and are their idea, twisted idea of equality, is women being on top and men being on bottom. Instead of them fighting for equality, they're fighting for women to be in the position that men in the U.S. were about 50 years ago, and have, and in many countries still are. That's not right! What makes it worse is that these people still call themselves feminists, so, people who support equality get lumped in with these people. And that's not right. These people are stupid. 
and are giving less stupid people who may be very intelligent a bad name and makes people assume they're stupid. Now, on to the other side of the stew, we have conservatives. And while I'm sure there's well-read and smart and well-spoken conservatives in the world, there's a big portion of them that are guzzling that stupid stew as well. It's not just a liberal thing, it's not just a conservative thing. There's these, like, for example, there's conservatives who, not all of them, again, it's always portions, who have this crazy radical victim complex, and are like, oh, the liberal media's out to get us, and trying to kill Christianity. And there's these people who make up facts. They don't look them up. They, they're they like, oh, Obama's a secret Muslim terrorist, and that's a Muslim prayer curtain. And they never fact check anything, because they're fucking dumbasses. And they sit there, they're oftentimes racist, because, let's face it, that they tend to gravitate towards conservatism. But they think they're being persecuted at every corner, Usually because they're Christian. Like, they're Christians who assume, Ugh, I'm being persecuted against. No. Christianity is the dominant religion in America. You're not being persecuted against. You've just had privileges that no other religion has had for hundreds of years in this country, and they're trying to make things more fair. That's not being persecuted against. That's ending other persecution. But they don't check the facts, they assume they're right about everything, and it's insane. There's endless examples in both parties of these stupid people. That's why I hate it. If you can't... I hate it because you have these people who assume all liberals are always correct. Every Democrat's great. Then you have these people who are like, every Republican's great. Fuck that other party. And that's stupid, because there's big, dumb sacks of stupid in both parties. So instead of being a lazy schmuck, how about you research things and decide how you feel about all these issues instead of taking the lazy loser way out of just saying, oh, I'm a Democrat, just so you can instantly have everything you believe in. I'm the Flashy J.W. Evans. Doodles!